Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're at the Reed Cemetery. We've done got started. It wasn't a video. This is our second. We're gonna get right back at it. All right. There's a lot of broken stones in this one. I've been telling them in the last video. If you missed it, check it out. There's some pretty old ones there. Here we have a veteran. He just has a mark in the grass. No stone. All right. Then we have uh, maybe Deborah. Anyways, I can't tell when she died. It's up in the ground. There it is. All right. Oh, wow. This next one's going to be a trip. Got like three of them piled up here. Four of them. Got one on the ground, too. We're going to be able to tell the one on the ground. It's right there. But here's our next one. It's going to be a Harriet. She's the wife of James, I think. Anyway, she died October the 17th. It looks like 1856. She was 30 years old. That's a beautiful stone. It's a shame it's busted. Uh, whoa. Then we have... I'm going to hold you down there see if you guys can see anything. I can't see it. I'm just holding these back. There it is. And then here's this one. There it is. Which I don't believe you can see any of them, but there they are. We're going to ease these back now. We don't want to break them. We don't come to break, we just come to record. All right. Here's our next one. It's a double. <coughs> Looks like Emily died September the. I want to say first, 1830, and then Adeline uh, may have died in 1839, September. I wouldn't swear to it on either one of them two, but there it is. Now here's our next one. It's going to be a, I don't know, I can't tell the name good enough to say it. I want to say Susan, or Susanna. But I'd be afraid to say. Anyways, they died October the 11th, 18... I want to say 68 on this one. There. Sorry about the wind, guys. The shaking. The road noise. And anything else you can think of. Here's Charles. McFlora... McFlora... and then I can't pronounce it. I'm trying to. Anyways, he died September the 18th. 18 and... I have no idea what that is. 47 maybe? I'm not sure. On the bottom one, it's Irene. She's the wife of McFarland there. And she died February, looks like 3rd, 1847 down at the bottom. And then we have this one. And I really can't tell nothing on it either. On that one. And then we have this one. And I can't, can't tell who it is. I think it's a Morris, maybe. Looks like he died December the 24th, 18... 18... 18 I'm going to say 27 on that one. Because that looks like a 2 to me. Then you got this big reed stone right there. And that's going to belong to Ivan. He's the son of P and F and Mary Reed. Died September the 15th, 1889. He was 22 years and eight months on that stone. Then you have Peter F. Reed. He died May the 17th, 1890, at 62 years and eight months. And then you have Mary Reed. And she died in 1846. No. March the uh, 1901. And I can't see her age on there because of the grass and the stuff that's on it. Alright, so that covers the big reed stone right there, guys. Alright, here's our next one behind it. We might as well get it. Uh, it's going to be a Rachel. She's the wife of Jay Reed. 
and she died July the 7th, 1871, at 40 years, I mean 84 years. I can talk here in a minute, hopefully. Then we have J.F. or John Reed. John Reed. He died December 23rd, 1866. He was 82 years old on that stone. Of course, I was just his mother and father. All right, there he is. Then we have some more of them god awful yucca plants. Oh, I hate them things. Anyways, we got this one. It's going to be a Russell Wilder. He died August the 18th, 1884, at 72 years on this stone. And then you have, I can't pronounce that name, so I don't even try. Something green. The wife of B, or not, R. R.G. Wilder, sorry, died February the 6th, 1854, at, at 37 years and 10 months. They're hard to see, guys. Very hard. All right, then we have a green. Robert, 1776 to 1861. And Anna Loader, 1779 to 1846. Oh, that breeze feels good, guys. It's hot out here today. It's like 87 today. Here's Young, Francis Young, born January the 9th, 1795, and died January the 8th, no, 19th, 1886, age 91 years. Sophia, his wife, died June the 8th, 1862, at the age of 62 years. He is a veteran. Thank you for your service, sir. Then we have a young... It's got to be John Young. He was born. Uh, I can't make it out because of the sun. I think in 1849, and he died in 1918. I can't even see it. Read it, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't see the rest of it to read it. The sun popped up by the time I went to read this one. And these are the hardest colored stones to read. Ask anybody. Some of them are impossible. But there it is. All right, let's move on. Don't want to spend on a lot of time on the ones I can't see or read. I'd like to get in another cemetery maybe today. Who knows? Awful late start today. Here's our next one. Oh. And I can't tell nothing about it either. But there it is. All right. Then this one's got grass flowed up on it. It just says Ma, uh, Mary. I thought it said Mom, but it says Mary. All right, here's a couple more thrown in front again. Oh, I kind of can't make nothing out about that one. But this one here, this one here, uh, David, or something like that. David Goodwin. He died January the 1st, 1817 on that stone. He was only 6 years, 11 months, and 2 days on that one. Alright. Then we have Laura Scheinholt. The wife of Chant... Uh, I'm going to say Chancery or something like that. Blair. 1833 to 1906. And Mary Shanholt. The wife of John Hawk. 1835 to 1907. On that stone. Right there. Alright. And then we have. This is Roxy. She died in 1861. That's about all I can tell on that one. And this one here, I really can't tell nothing on it. But the, they may have died May the 20th, 
1871 but as far as name and stuff I can't tell guys there it is all right then we have these uh, this one died Eighteen eleven on that one, guys. It's eighteen eleven. He was fifteen years. So this one, the guy died, in, or boy died in eighteen eleven, on that one. All right. Then this one. Uh, eighteen thirty one, and it's going to be a Jonathan. M, I think. He's the son of Joseph S. Palin or Pally or something like that. Anyways, he died October the 20th, 1831 on that one. Then there's one stowed way over here by itself. I don't know if it's supposed to be over here or if it knocked it over here. No, it's supposed to be. Okay. All right, it's right here. That is the written side. Okay. Just can't see it. There it is. All right. Whew. And then we have this one. And I can't see nothing on it. But there it is. It may be an infant. Sometimes they use them there for infants. Here's our next one. I can't see it at all. The sun's hitting it. He's a veteran. Thank you for your service, sir. I want to say happy Labor Day to everybody. Hope you're spending time with your family and thanking a veteran. All right, here's one. I'm not sure the name. They died in 18, May the 1st, or 18th right there, 1815, that's a 1 and that's a 5, 1815 on this one guys, Whew. I'm going to go ahead and get this one here, it's Munson, oh wow, we have Nelson Munson, 1825 to 1884. There's Castilla or something like that. Best I can see, I don't know. 1827 to 1878. And the motor got it up here and I can't hardly see it. Then we have the top one, I can't tell the name. Anyways, they died in 63. I, Isaac, I can see Isaac. He died in 1843. Then we have Clara died in 1854. Henry died in 1850. He was from 1858 to 1859. And Charlie was 1865 to 1868. On that stone right there, guys. And I think that's it. Yes, that's all. So that's the whole family. That's down right there. All right. Next, we have this down right here. And I can't tell nothing on it. And I don't know if there's anybody on the back. There is not. So the only recognition there is to this one is right here. <sighs> All right. Here's our next one. It's Clemen Wally, 1804 to 1893, and Elizabeth Reese, his wife, 1816 to 1881. All right. <sighs> 
Man, there's a lot of broke stones here. Makes you wonder how they get so broke up. You know what? Or it does me. I know some of them break from age and weather. But you wouldn't think they'd break that much. Not across the cemetery like that. There's that one. Can't read it, but there it is. Then we have this one. Can't go better see nothing on it either, I don't think. Nah, not really. Looks like they might have died in 1830. But all I can really tell on that one. All right. Then we have this one. It's Mary. And I'm not sure when Mary died. There it is. Then we have one on the ground, which we ain't going to tell nothing about because it's on the other side and I can't flip that big thing. There's no way. So then we have Willis Allen. He died in 1881. He was 87 years old. Then there's somebody else here that died in 1870-something. I don't know what. It's Albert. And then Nancy. She died in 18-something. I don't have a clue what on that side. And that's all that's on that stone. All right. Then we have this one, Richardson. It's EA, 1859 to 1937, and his wife, 1861 to 1891, I think. All right. Then we have a busted muff right here. We have Henrietta. And Henrietta died something the 20th, 1856. At six years, five months, and I can't tell in the days. And then we have uh, uh, something. Uh, Eli Jane or something case. Died June 18th, 1864 on that one. On that one there. We'll get them in a minute. Then we have this one, and I can't tell when they died on that one. Then we have a broken one missing here. I don't know what happens to these broken missing ones when they're not in the cemetery. This is a veteran. It's Geo Han. Geo Han, 1840 to 1922. On Geo Han. And the reason why I repeat myself sometimes on that is I have a guy that occasionally, if he can use any of these, he tries to find them on that find a grave. And I'll give a shout out to him so y'all can go there and subscribe to his channel. It's Jim, the graveyard man. So, Jim the Graveyard, man. Check him out. All right, this is James. Uh, something till something. Anyways, he died January the 19th, 1863 at 46 years, 7 months, and 15 days. And then mother is going to be over here. And it's Polly. She's the wife of Jazz, I, I guess it was his name instead of Geo. I thought it was uh, Geo, but oh well. Anyways, he died February the 1st, 1885 at 73 years, 10 months, and 24 days. Then we have this one I can't tell nothing about. Right here. And then we have one thrown behind it. Right here. That I can't tell nothing about. 
right there. And it was probably right there in them yucky, yucky plants. Right there. And awful things. Awful. If you have any yard, if I'd spray them with bugs, I mean a weed killer right now, and just get rid of them. Because they are horrible plants. All right, then we got this one. And it's on the right nice seed right here. And I want to shout out on one more, well, a couple more channels. M&A Mystery Tours is an awesome channel. Be sure to check them out. If you're not subscribed to them, you're really missing out. They got some great content. Check out M&A Mystery Tours. Then, uh, uh, Graveyard Sisters. Be sure to check them out. They're a new upcoming channel. Very good. These are ones I watch myself. And uh, there's all there's a bunch more. Uh, cemetery, cemeteries down under. Be sure to check them out. They're an excellent channel. And then uh, I think it's Bluegrass Paranormal. Check them out. They're an awesome channel. And I think that's it for now. This is our next one. And it's a big old stone up here. But I was trying to see if anybody else went with it down here. Anyways, it's Wilder, or Wilbur. Wilbur, he's the son of R&P and M&J and Hazden, and he died May the 7th, 1882, at the age of 20 years, 7 months, and 13 days. And let's see if he's the only one that's on there. No. Then it's Mary Hazen, February the 2nd, 1837 to March 29th. Uh... 1902, 1908, I think, and then Richard P. November the 19th, 1833 to February the 12th, 1916. Haul on that stone right there, guys. All right. Then we have M. P. Moon, born September the 10th, 1842, and died June the 23rd, 1892. Part Henna, or Henna Moon, born June the 29th, 1841, and died February 22nd, 1872. And then we have another infant right here. Right there. All right, guys. There's that one. And then we got one down here. Got to get maybe two I'm not sure yeah that's one all right that's Sycamore Francis 1855 to 1922 and Leonora Shaw 1858 to 1941 and then we have Abraham Young, 1823, Sarah, his wife, 1823 to 1888, and Sarah Ellen, 1858 to 1899, on that stone right there. And then you have the mother, father and the mother stones. And this one, this is a... Alicia, or something like that, Sycamore, April the 17th, 1816, to July the 6th, 1862. And, I'm not, Catherine, I think, February the 1819, to May the 22nd, 1887. And that's Elsha on top. Sorry about that, I think. Anyways, guys, that's the whole cemetery. 
I appreciate you watching. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. What are you waiting on? And if you are, hey, hit that like button. Tell me what you think of this cemetery. But we got to get out of here. We got to go get hit another one. All right, guys. Peace. I'm out of here.